fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hardy high silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, the local sheriffs had a full-time job preserving the peace. They knew very little about law. There was no adequate court system, and the men, women, and children who couldn't defend their rights by force had no law enforcing agency to protect them. The masked rider of the plains was the only man to whom they could turn for help, and in time, high old silver became the battle cry of justice. And now return with us to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Dalton. Sun is waiting on the trail ahead. Hey, oh, Silver. Away. <laughs> Night overtook the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, as they rode toward Dalton. The Ranger's face was disguised, and the two men stopped at a large ranch house near the town. They talked with the ranchers, watered their horses, and then continued on their way. I'd better put on my mask now, Tonto. Uh -huh. There was something about that man that I didn't like. Fellow named Kirby? Yes, Nick Kirby. He's too shrewd looking. Seem suspicious of every move we made. I'm not right. And he's a lawyer. How you know that? I saw his certificate on the wall. What would a lawyer from the East be doing here? And what would he want with a ranch as large as that one of his? Me not know. And another thing, those two cowmen we saw him with. Them plenty tough feller. One of them at least was an outlaw, Scar Larkin. You know him? Yes, he's wanted in Kansas. I wonder what he... That shot, said he, Silver. It come from there. Hit him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. He's there. I'll shoot. It's woman. And that dry ghost. Get away, Jeff Larkin. Get away. This way, Silver. You drop gun. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, mister. Oh, don't shoot. Me, me got rifle now. Let go. Let go, Indian. Oh, don't, don't you kill me. It's all right, Tonto. Let go of her arm. Uh. Why, you, you ain't Nick Kirby. No, I'm not Nick Kirby. Oh, my sake's alive. Oh, thank the good Lord I didn't shoot you. It'd have been sin enough to kill Kirby, much as the polecat deserved killing, but to drill the wrong man. Oh, 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 oh stranger. Oh, don't take me to the law. I I know I've done wrong. I know I shouldn't have shot at you. Sir. Why did you want to kill Kirby? There, there ain't a soul alive in Dalton that wouldn't like to see that snake put out of business. But there ain't no one that dare to kill him. I... I reckon I'm the only one in town that'd be willing to face the music. I don't understand. It ain't no affair you're a stranger. Oh, you're wearing a mask. Yes. Outlaw, eh? Oh, well, I can't hold that against you. My husband, he... He, <laughs> he was wanted for the law, too. Fact is, most everyone in town is wanted for the law for something or other. 
but they're living good lives now. There are lots of people who have made one mistake in their lives, but most of them deserve the chance to go straight. And oh, so did my husband. He... Ah, oh, shucks. What's the use of talking about it? I'd like to hear about it. You, you ain't holding it again me that I tried to shoot you. What about the lawyer, Nick Kirby? What did you think of a man that'd break up a family? That's what Kirby done. He did? Yes. My husband was in the army. He'd done a double turn at guard duty and fell asleep. They was going to court-martial him, and so to save his life, he deserted. A deserter, huh? But that was years ago, even before he was married. Somehow this lawyer critter learned about it, and he told them just what he's told everyone else in town. What's that? Turn over half his cattle or he'd squeal. So that accounts for his large ranch. Every cow and steer on that ranch was took from some man that bought silence. Lem refused to pay tribute to Kirby, so Kirby turned him over to the government and got a $50 bounty for it. And Kirby has been doing that sort of thing all along? Sure he has. Ornery skunk. Everyone would like to kill him, but they don't dare do it. He's got it fixed, so if something happens to him, all he knows and everything he has on folks will fall into the hands of the law. Oh. So instead of drilling him, everyone has to protect him. Me... Oh, it don't matter. There's nothing more he can do to me. Does he have outlaws working for him? Sure. When a man can't afford to pay him what he demands, he makes a poor critter work his ranch for him. Not what you see. Yes, Tonto. Well, you got my story. Now what are you going to do? Turn me over to the law? No. You, you ain't? No. Most everyone makes a mistake in a lifetime. Those who see the mistake and change to become good citizens are sometimes better than those who have never made a mistake. I'm glad you told me the story. But, stranger, <laughs> who are you? Come on, Tonto. We're turning back. Tonto, oh, ready? Hold on, mister. We're going to make camp, Tonto. Uh -huh. Wait. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Tonto. the town of Dalton, two men were talking with Sheriff Allen in the lawman's office. All right, Charlie, speak up. You fellows didn't drop in for nothing. Let's have it. Well, uh, well, Sheriff, it's like this. Yeah? Oh, you tell him, Hank. You said you'd do the talking, Charlie. Talk or get out. Well, it's about, uh, about Homer Dodwell's missus. You mean the wife of the fellow Nick Kirby turned in for deserting? Uh-huh. Well? Well, it's like this, Sheriff. She's mighty head up again, the lawyer, and we sort of got a notion you'd better keep an eye on her. Seems to me you're mighty worried about Nick's health. Well, Sheriff, he ain't a bad fella, but... Uh. And you wouldn't want to kill him in your county, would you? You fellas ain't fooling me. Huh? It ain't Nick's hide you're worrying about, it's your own. You think I'm blind? I see things, and I've got them pretty well figured out. There's nothing any of you'd like better than to drill Nick. But you know the whole town will get in trouble if you do. Well, that ain't it, Sheriff. Shucks, where'd you get a notion like that? It, well, it's just that we wouldn't want to see any fellow shot, let alone what had happened to Mrs. Dodwell afterwards. I'll watch her. Gosh, Sheriff, that's Who's it. Who's that? Say, you don't think something's happened to Nick already, do you? If it has, I... What the... I'm asking, man. Carol. Look here, stranger. Get these men out of here. I'm talking to you alone. By God, don't you slap do... leather. God. Hey, hey, don't point that gun at me. Get out. By thunder, I'm the law here. What's the meaning of this? I'll explain when these men are gone. All right, you two. I'll see that you go and keep on going. Walk ahead of me. We're going. Just ease up on a trigger finger, won't you? Yeah, don't, don't do nothing. You'd be sorry for him. Those your horses? Uh-huh. That's them, mister. Get mounted. Sure. Sure, anything you say. <coughs> but we've never done you no harm, stranger. Can you follow orders? Huh? Uh, what orders? Start riding and don't stop. If they catch you back here, there'll be trouble. We ain't coming back. Honest, we ain't. And this will help you get started. <coughs> on your way. Get up there. Get up with you. Stranger, what in blazes I just you... wanted to make sure our talk wouldn't be interrupted. Who's in that cell there? Huh? Him? Oh, that's just old Zeke Bagley. He's in jail half the time for disturbing the peace or something. I don't want our talk to be heard. Don't pay him no mind. He's been over at the cafe and now he's sleeping at all. But doggone it, who are you to be asking me questions? You're mighty high-handed for a crook. We met once before, Sheriff. Quite a long time ago. Yeah? You don't remember me? Can't say as I do. Maybe you're on one of the reward notices I got filed away. But I'd have to see you without that mask to make sure. 
I have a horse called Silver. Silver? And a friend, an Indian named Tonto. Well, I'll be... Now, do you remember? <laughs> well, I should smile. Golden, I was mistaking you for an outlaw. I must be getting old and useless to make a mistake like that. Tell me something, Sheriff. What do you think of Nick Kirby? Why, that low-down ornery sneak in no account... Then what I've heard is true. Sheriff, would you help me bring him to justice? Uh, that's something can't be done. Why not? The lawyer's too slick, that's why. You know what he's done? He's left a letter with a banker to be turned over to me in case he gets drilled. Yes? Now, understand, I ain't supposed to know what's in that letter. But I got a pretty good notion it tells where he's hid the proof he's got again the fellas in town. Then you know about that, too. Ha! <laughs> I savvy a heap more than I give them credit for around here. And I'm telling you straight out, I'm on the side of the folks in town. I don't want to have to see that evidence again. Em. Maybe that ain't no way for a peace officer to talk, but when folks are trying their level best to live decent and honest, I says give them a chance. I still think something could be done. Well, of course, if anything happened to that there evidence, like it burning up or something, uh, then it couldn't be given to me to act on, could it? But if the evidence is turned over to you, you'll arrest the man it implicates? A man's got to do his sworn duty. Of course. Sheriff, you said you had a number of reward notices on hand. Uh-huh. Look at that desk over there. Spum chuck full with them. I'll need two of them. Huh? Two that don't carry pictures. One describing an Indian outlaw and the other describing a man about my build. I most likely got them. But what do you want? I've heard Nick Kirby hires outlaws. Mm -hmm. And I have a notion that wherever he's hidden the evidence against the men in town, it isn't far from his house. Well, just between the two of us, friend, I'd say the same. Like I told you, I ain't so blind to some folks' figure. Then give me those notices. I'll do that. Maybe it ain't just right. And I won't say that maybe I don't suspicion a bit of what you've got in mind, but if you can work it, I'm for you. I'm glad of that, Sheriff. Now, let me see. No, this ain't the one. This ain't neither. Now, Dad, read it. Where did I put that? Shucks, here's one. It's for an engine the knife to U.S. Marshal over Wyoming way. Good. Uh-huh. And here's another that'll fit you fine. There you are, and welcome. Thanks. And mind you, I don't know anything about this. But man to man, it won't hurt to say that Nick's been looking for a couple of good gunmen. He ain't feeling as safe as he might these days. I can believe that. So here's wishing you luck. Nothing would suit me better than to see the folks around here rest a little easier. I knew I could depend on you. Would I be seeing you again? Not until I've taken care of Nick Kirby. Hey, Sheriff! What's that about the lawyer? What'd that fella say? Don't go and come here, won't you? What'd he say? When'd you wake up, Zeke? Look here. What'd that fella say about fixing Nick Kirby? That's what I want to know. What'd he say? Now, Zeke, don't you go getting excited. He's gunning for Nick, I'll bet. That's what he's doing. He's gunning for the lawyer. You blame digit. Let me out of here. Are you sure you're sober enough to make it home? Dad ratted, Sheriff, if I hadn't have been what that masked dweller said would have done it for me. Oh, come on. Now, let me out. All right, all right. Just wait till I get the right key. Hurry, blasted. Oh, golly, if that masked dweller drills the lawyer, the whole town will be going to jail. There. Now, don't do nothing foolish or I'll have to... Can't let wait you. to talk to you, Sheriff. I gotta let the fellas know. Maybe I shouldn't have let you out. Folks! Folks! Come around it! There's a fella gunning for the lawyer! Nick's gonna get shot! Boys, come fast! Listen to me, I got news! Hey, old Z, what ails you, Zeke? When did you get out of the calaboose? Won't you listen yet? You blame Galooch? Uh, there's a masked man. I heard him in the sheriff's office. He was there. He's the one that chased us out of there. What did he do to the sheriff? Uh, nothing. All I know is that he said he was going to get Nick Kirby. Nick Kirby? He can't get him. We can't let him get Kirby. If he gets Kirby, we're all headed for jail. Ain't I telling you that, Steve? Come on, get your guns. Get after the masked man. We got to drop him before he ruins all of us. <laughs> Haunted by those he wants to help, the masked man is faced with a difficult problem as the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger's plans were overheard and the citizens of Dalton decided to capture him, the masked man and Tonto left the town for several days. They returned in the night shortly after a thunder shower and went directly to Nick Kirby's ranch. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry, Tonto. Watch out for the steps. Huh? Me come. Open the door. Open up there. Oh, and... Out of my way. I don't want the door left open. What is this? What do you mean by breaking in here? We want shelter for the night. He was in a blasted big hurry. Well... We don't care for strangers. Wait. Haven't I seen this Indian before? Perhaps. Who are you two? In the West, people don't ask questions like that. Who are you? Hold on, Barney. Stranger, you wouldn't be keeping something undercover, would you? That's our business. Yes? Well, I'm making it my business. <laughs> I've noticed before that people running from the law don't like to talk. We're not outlaws. Oh, of course not. <laughs> of course not. Mind if I sit down? Go right ahead. We will. We've been working Dick, around... Look. What's the matter, Scar? Here. The stranger just dropped these papers out of his pocket. Give me those. I'll take them, Scar. Barney, watch the stranger and the Indian. If they make a move, shoot. I'll keep an eye on them. Those are mine. Sure. That's why I'll look them over. Here you are, Nick. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, reward notices. You'll wish you hadn't seen those. <laughs> and quite an accurate description, too. So you're wanted for murder, huh? I'm not. Don't lie to me. What's the other paper say? Uh, this is for the Indian. He knifed a United States Marshal. Me not do that. <laughs> no? Well, the government's pretty sure you did, offering $500 for your capture. Is that right, boss? And there's a 1000 offered for this other fellow. Golly, he must be wanted bad. You're going to turn him in, Nick? I was just thinking. Yes? Stranger, just how handy with guns are you and the Indian? Good enough. Willing to show me? I am. Mm -hmm. How about a test in the morning? And if you prove yourselves, I'll hire you. We're not interested. I see. You'd rather go to jail. You'd turn us in. Oh, oh, why not? You're worth money to me. Of course, I'd rather not. I could use a couple good gun hands. But if you prefer jail, well, then... You uh... seem to have us. <laughs> well, I'm glad you realize that. Then it's agreed? We don't want to go to jail. Good. Scar. Yeah? You and Barney guard these men. Yeah. I'll put these reward notices away. Wait. Where are you putting those? <laughs> well, stranger, that's what nobody knows but myself. And no one will ever find it out. But as long as I have these, you'll do exactly what I say. already. How far does he have to go? Stranger, you can keep your questions to yourself. It ain't healthy to be asking things about Nick. Oh? He's coming back now. I heard him on the step. You ready? Come on, Tonto. Watch out! They're drawing! They hit the lamp! Grab him, Barney! Get a hold of him! Don't let them get out of here. I'll take care of him. What's going on? Let me loose. Come on, Scott. Hell! Where's he? I can't see a thing! Hey, what are you doing? Let go! Men, shoot them. Too dark. We're liable to hit one of us. You stand back. Where's the engine? Get him. He ain't here no more. He slipped away. Boss, where are you? Over here. Hell. I'm through, Tonto. Let's go. Uh, out the door. Stop them. They're outside already. We don't like this other land. Come on, Silver. Yeah. Now maybe we can see what we're doing. Well, I'll be. Huh? Look at Nick. Boss, what in blazes happened to your boots? Golly, they're gone. The stranger knocked me down and took them. Of all the loco things to do. What a tarnation was his ID. I don't know, but they're going to pay. You're going after them? You bet I am. I gave them that chance, but they threw it away. Now we're collecting those rewards. Barney, bring me another pair of boots from my room. Right away, Nick. I'll show those fellows what it means to cross Nick Kirby. Instead of racing away from the ranch, the Lone Ranger and Tonto held their mounts to a slow walk. The moon's beginning to break through the clouds, Tonto. They'll be able to see us. Mm, that would be a good thing. When they chase us, I'll break away at the first opportunity. You keep on, but don't let them get within gun range. They'll 
probably think I'm on ahead. And don't do that. I'll need an hour's time. I'll have to return to the ranch, ride into town, and back to the ranch again. Me keep them away. And I'll meet you on the hill overlooking Kirby's ranch house. Uh -huh. There they are. They've seen us. Them right, and he passed. They want the reward money. Come on, Get him up, Scout. See those trees? Uh -huh. That's where I'll leave you. Those trees will give me cover. Hey, Unknown to Nick Kirby, however, the masked man had ridden off in another direction under cover of the trees. He returned to the ranch, and then when he'd finished there, raced into town. Hank and Charlie were in the cafe and heard the distant hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. Listen. Come on, Come on, fellas. The masked man again. Coming right through town. Wow, look at him ride. Stop him. Get him, man. Here he comes. Come on. Now's our chance. Oh. Get your horses. Come on, let's take after him. Maybe he's going to the next place right now. Everybody out, fellas. We're riding. If we're going to keep that fellow from killing Nick, now's the time to do it. <laughs> In the meantime, Nick Kirby and his men continued their pursuit of Tonto. Boss, that engine's horse don't ever seem to get tired. He can't keep it up. And how about the other fella? He just rode plumb out of sight. I'm about ready to give up. I say we won't. 500 is better than nothing. We'll get the engine at least. Get up there. Huh? Get up. Hey, what's the matter? Look where we're going, huh? There's Sandy Creek. There's old Baldy over to the right. Fellas, our rescue's got turned around. He's headed straight back for the ranch. I'll <laughs> be doggone. That means he's so scared he doesn't know which way he's going. We'll get him for sure. You bet we will. And he's going to be blamed sorry he took us on a chase like this. Come on. Get more speed out of these horses. He might give us a slip yet. Get Come on. on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Townsmen followed the Lone Ranger to the hill overlooking Kirby's ranch and then lost him. Oh, 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 oh. Now, where in blazes did he get to? I seen him a minute ago, then he just disappeared. I'm telling you fellas, you're making a bad mistake. The masked man's on your side. How come you know so much, Sheriff? Because he's the man they call... Uh... Are you looking for me? There he is. Now we got him. No, you haven't. Blasted, he's got the drop on us again. If he hadn't come from behind us, we would have got, got him. got the drop on you anyhow. I'm telling you, he... Listen to me, man. Doggone you, stranger. Maybe you mean well, mister. But you're just getting us in trouble. We can't stand for Wait, it. I'll prove to you I'm not. But you can't. You've been afraid that if anything happens to Nick, the evidence he's concealed will be turned over to the law and used against you. We know blame well it will. Well, I can promise you it won't be. You can't promise no such thing. Who's that coming? It must be Tonto. Tonto? Who's he? You'll learn that later. Oh, oh, Scout. Oh, oh, Scout. Good work, Tonto. You gave me all the time I needed. Other feller... Come behind. One of the fellas. Nick and his two gunmen. You can hear them now. I see him. There's the skunk. Stranger, if you lay a hand on Nick. Leave I'll... this to me. Yeah. Hold that engine. Oh, 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 The engine and outlaw, Sheriff. He knifed the U.S. Marshal. Hey. hey. The last army looks like that other fellow we was chasing. Sheriff, I demand their arrest. On what charge? They're murderers. Both of them. There's $500 reward for the Indian and 1000 for his friend. And we're claiming them reward. <laughs> can you prove it? I've got the reward notices. You stay here, and I'll go after them right now. Don't bother. What? I gave those reward notices to the masked man and the redskin. But you mean that they're not... I mean they're not wanted by the law. They're not the men those bills describe. Oh, you're crazy. You're... Nick, the masked man's gone again. Where in blazes did he get to? If he's got away, the Indian's still here. Redskin, you took us on that chase without any reason. And now I'm going to make you sorry you ever did such you a thing. You not hurt, Tonto. Everything's ready, Tonto. You light them. Light what? What are you talking about? You see. But what, what blazes are you... You wait. Hold your horses, fellas. I got a hunch something's going to happen. Blast and powder. Blast. My papers. The evidence. 
That's where I had it hidden. If you did, it's sure gone to glory now. What's that you said about your papers, Nick? Sheriff, now you've got to arrest that masked man. He's Whoa! Wow. Man, the evidence is gone. But wait, listen. Nick, it's you the sheriff's going to arrest. No, no, he can't. He you've can't do that. You've been blackmailing a lot of us till we couldn't even call our names our own. And we'll all testify again you. Won't we, fellas? I'll have you jailed. <laughs> Without no evidence, Nick, you're going loco. <laughs> Boss, how in tarnation did the masked fella find your hiding place? I'll tell you. Blast you. You showed me yourself. You led me right to them. I didn't. Nick, when you left your ranch house to hide those reward notices, do you remember stepping into a mud puddle? Yes, but what's that? That wasn't mud. It was paint. Tato and I had placed it there before we rode up to your place the second time. Then, then I walked in it and... And left tracks that took me straight to the evidence you've been concealing so carefully. You tricked me. And, boss, that must have been why the masked fella took your boots away. He didn't want you to catch on to what you'd done. That's it, exactly. And to think we fellas in town was doing our best to stop you, friend. Charlie, it just goes to show you never can tell when you're well off. All right, Nick. You're going to jail, pronto. But, but, Sheriff, you know I had proof against these men. You know the masked man blew it up. You have to do something. Nick, when you've been a lawman as long as I've been, you get sense enough to savvy when to take action and when not to. Hey, wait! Gosh, you never even waited to be thanked. I never seen another fellow like him. Sheriff, what was that you started to say about him a while back? Why, all I was going to say was that he's the fellow they call the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs>